How's it going guys? This is Deft. Thank you so much for joining me. It really does mean a lot that you guys tune in to see my little scribbles here. Um, yeah, we're right in the midst of the whole vaccination period. It's uh, pretty astonishing to see how many people are actually doing it. Um, actually, I'm glad to see that happening. I did have my doubts. I thought there were going to be a lot of people refusing to do it. But, um... Uh, you know, I gotta say, it's one thing that I just was thinking about, and obviously that comes out in the cartoon, is it must be what? Are they going through like 250 million needles? Like, that's just unbelievable to think, you know, but should have invested in those uh, syringes, I guess uh, <laughs> maybe for the next outbreak I'll uh, go and buy some. Anyway, here we go with the uh, drawing. It is, of course, with the trusty Crayola light box. And I did the drawing in pencil, um, and it just sort of started off as a whim. Um, it's kind of sketching out the idea as a thumbnail, and it ended up being a pretty complete pencil drawing, which surprised me. But, um, and here we go, uh, with the old trusty Stedler fine liner, 0. 0.5. I really do enjoy these pens. Um, I think it's they're just there's something about them i think it's that they have a bit of texture that i like more than the microns microns tend to be a little too smooth always falling out of my hands i don't know why that is but uh i just chalk it up to being microns are slick hard to keep that grip going but uh, nonetheless here we go um using that old light box it's super super helpful um and I was thinking about back when I was in college, um, and there was a guy who showed up one day, and I, he wasn't a student, he just, I don't know what he was, but he came, I guess he was touring the country, possibly, with a bootleg documentary uh, about the Rolling Stones, and he showed it in our cinema class, and it was just amazing, I mean, truly shocking stuff. Apparently the story was that the Stones had sued the guy who put the documentary together uh, and it was comprised of Super 8 footage from I believe the roadies and it showed everything I mean it was just like crazy like Keith Richards is nodding off doing the nod with the heroin you could see him shooting up Mick Jagger stone out of his mind Tina Turner was there I think she was doing cocaine incredible but nonetheless uh, the documentary was put together Stone sued the maker of it, and one of the one of the agree part of the agreement was that it could only be shown one time in I believe one theater per year. And some guy snuck in a camcorder and filmed the whole movie. So that I think was like a legal loophole, and he was able to go around the country and show it. All of this is to say that I basically. Started to reminisce about that documentary, I guess, uh, when I was seeing all the uh, people getting their vaccinations and I was thinking about the amount of needles being used. So that's how we ended up here, I guess. I mean, uh, kind of just shows you how I think, I guess. <laughs> and one of the funniest things is that uh, as I was drawing, I kind of realized, well, I didn't really put the gloves on them, so kind of the need to put the latex gloves on the doctors and uh, here we go into clip studio paint and i am coloring it um just kicked around and i kind of felt i haven't really been showing too many african-american characters so i wanted to change that and thank you so much for watching guys it really does mean a lot to me um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and as always This does exist. It's a real thing. So if anybody wants to purchase it, please hit me up I hope you are all doing well till the next time